Hey, Tim Unkert here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use a custom font in Linux on your Chromebook. But first, if you like videos like this on tech, uh, math, coding, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell for notifications as it really helps the channel grow. If you've already done that, thank you. Okay, let's get to it. So I really like the text editor, Adam, the UI of the text editor, but I've been using Vim in the terminal a lot on a Chromebook. Okay, uh, so I wanted to figure out what the default font for Adam was to try and get that feel uh, of their UI. So I looked it up and says Adam comes with a nice default font family, Monaco. So let's see if I can find, well, I, I did find Monaco and I realized it was free for personal use and you can get the TTF. And so what I'm gonna do is go do that. And uh, so this ad came up, but you'll see it downloaded and let's show in the folder, okay? All right, uh, so we've got this monaco.ttf, okay? So what I've gotta do is I've gotta copy that and I'm gonna go over to my Linux files here. And uh, I haven't started up the Linux container, so it's gonna take just a moment and my alarm is going off, so hold on one sec. Well, that's done. Uh, I got up a little earlier than expected. Anyways, uh, so once we get this open, I'm going to uh, show the hidden files. Okay. So uh, let's go up here and we'll go show hidden files. And you'll see this dot local. And I'm going to click on that. And I'm going to go to share. And then I'm going to create a new folder. And I'm going to call that fonts. Okay. And then I'm going to go into that folder and now paste that file. Okay, so we've got the monaco.ttf. Okay, uh, now what I can do is open up my terminal and I want to go into kitty here because I'm using kitty. So I have a, a bash alias shortcut which is basically this command. It's vim.config slash kitty slash kitty.conf, okay? And so what that does is that'll go into my kitty configuration file, but I've set it up so I can just type kitty and it'll open up vim in the configuration file. All right, so now I wanna just Google kitty conf config and I'm gonna go here. And I can see where I can, now if I do a control F, and if I look for font uh, family, so we see here we have font underscore family, and we're gonna put Monaco, okay? So I'm just gonna go to the bottom here, go into a new line and do font underscore family. And you'll see I have some customizations I've commented out here, a background when I'm using Cobalt 2 or Nord or Sublime Monaco. Uh, so we're going to say font family, uh, sublime Monica, Monaco, and we're going to save that and quit and take stock of the font. And now we'll exit out and we'll start back up. And you'll see the font is slightly different. Okay, so now if I go into Vim um, and let's find I don't know, my Vim RC, you'll see that the font is slightly different. It's kind of like... Um, it's kind of like uh, Adam's font because I'm using the Monaco font, okay? And you notice the kitty didn't throw up any errors. It noticed the font was there. And maybe you guys don't notice on the screen, but if you want to use your custom font, you can do that. Another one that I was searching for that I put in the other day was in Consolata. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And... Um, you actually want to search for either the TTF or the OTF. Those two types of files will work. Okay, and uh, let's see. Yeah, font family free download TTF OTF. Okay, so you can download either one of those files and follow the same procedure. Um, now, if you were doing a different terminal, like for instance, well, let's try this terminal 
and we go to settings. Uh, let's see if it appears here. So we go font. Uh, it doesn't appear in this one, but it does work in um, it does work in uh, Terminator. Okay, so Terminator, you can do that. You can go and the font will actually appear in the font list under preferences and you can get that font. So all you have to do is again, you go into your Linux files. You go into showing your hidden files. You're gonna go into your .local, .share and uh, into fonts, okay? And that's where you're gonna put it. And that's all you need to do. And you've got your custom fonts on your Linux, on your Google Chromebook. Uh, I hope that was helpful. And if it was, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell for notifications if you haven't done so already. And if you have, I hope to see you in the next video. I hope you enjoyed this one too. All right.